Switch roles. Can you please introduce each other? I actually don't know how to introduce you. Game director is game usually director. game director. Yeah, game director. So I'm Dominique. Oh, are you saying I'm? Okay. Yeah, I, I think that's how I'm supposed yeah, to be. Go, I'm go. trying to I'm trying to possess the role here. <laughs> I play Pax in Dustborn. I'm gonna switch it up. This is Ragnar. <laughs> He is the game director and I'm Norwegian. Now you switched oh, to first person. I have. Who is Pax? This is Pax. <laughs> <laughs> I am Pax's voice. Pax is an anomal. She is also kind of like a refugee in a way. Definitely. She leaves her kind of native land because it's turned into a very weird fascist place to be and her and other anomals are at risk of being locked up. Hunted down, uh, locked hunted up, down. maybe killed, yeah. So she goes on the road for money, for a job, but it also turns into a pursuit of freedom and liberation and she comes across many obstacles and challenges along the way um, and figures out herself along the way as well, I think. That was perfect. That is Pax. I know yeah. my character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why did I choose Dominique for Pax? Why did you choose Dominique for Pax? Because she is amazing and she sounds exactly like Pax. Cool haven't seen anyone matching that description. But actually, this is funny. When we were coming up with, with Pax's look, I don't think I ever told you this. You were one of the visual inspirations before we cast you. So there's a good reason why sort of Pax in the game looks a bit like So you. it is me. As part of the inspiration. <laughs> I was on the mood board. <laughs> mood board, mood board. Dominique, why did you want to be Pax's voice? because I was on the mood board, because I was the whole inspiration for the character, basically. <laughs> no, I love the concept of the game. I love the social commentary of it, and I love Pax. I think she's just all the things a human should be. She's flawed, she's fabulous, she's forthright, she's bold, she's hot. Not that everyone needs to be hot, but you know what I mean. How much of Pax is what it is thanks to you working together? Obviously, a lot of the game was written before you came on board. The character was there, but the voice changed. And I've at least done a lot of rewriting based oh, on okay. that. Yeah. That. We took your persona and like, you know, brought it into PAX throughout the game. We really creatively shaped her in the booth. Quite a lot, actually. I'm glad you joined the fight. We're almost done discussing your proposition. And maybe a little bit more dismissive, like Theo's impatient and you're just okay. telling him, hold on, you know. We're almost done discussing your proposition. Yeah, that's the one, that last one. But I think like you brought like a certain softness to her, like a lot of more, I think more emotion. I find that a lot with characters I play. <laughs> like, people are like, they're hard and I'm like, no, they're not. <laughs> we're all big softies, really. At, at the core of it, we're all emotional beings and sensitive beings. So I think that always has to be there. Yeah. Yeah. You're my bestie, and you'll always have a role to play. What would you like to say to Pax? How would she react? Take it easy. Let, let people get close. I would like to say to her, keep growing and you're going to be an amazing mother. I don't know how she reacts, but I'd like to give her a hug. I would shake her hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm going to try to hug you, just fine. <laughs> I'm glad I'm here with y'all. What's going on? Are you dying? Yeah, you're acting very weird, Pax. We're just trying to make a great game. I, would, yeah. I really hope people are gonna like it. I, I hope so. I hope they're gonna enjoy Pax and all the other characters. Same. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy playing it. Hope you enjoy the experience of the game. And um, hopefully we'll offer you some entertainment and escapism. Promise me, you'll look after each other.